What would be seven of the best financial goals that you could achieve in your 30s? Well, as somebody approaching the late 30s now, I know, let's not talk about it. Hopefully I can give you my honest opinion on this. Hi there, welcome back to the Mama Fur Fur channel. My name is Jennifer and certainly the topic of financial goals, I'm all about success with your money, designing life on your terms. And I was thinking about what would be the best financial advice I could give to someone coming up through their 20s and 30s as someone now who's approaching the later years in their 30s. Let's not talk about that anymore, of course, put it to the sideline. But what would be the best advice, the best goals that I could recommend based on my own experience with money? Well, let me give you some background about my story. So I am nearly 39. I'm going to be 39 this year. As scary as that is, I have two small boys. I obviously live here in Glasgow, hence the accent. And my whole passion for a couple of years now has been once we got out of debt, so we had £24,000 worth of consumer debt, credit cards, loans my husband brought from previous relationships. We actually tackled that and cleared it off within three years. So my passion has been through that process of paying off a huge amount of debt. I learned how to invest, how to save, how to use money smarter. And that passion then led me to hopefully help you do the same through this YouTube channel and my blog and my products and services in some way. So that is where that drive for actually having financial goals came from. I had never actually thought about money as something you needed to have goals about. In the past money had been, I'd earn a living, nine to five job, and then obviously you pay, you save, you spend, whatever you need to do, but then life goes on and you keep repeating the cycle. When we had that goal of paying off the debt, it then changed my life actually what else we could achieve. So that's what I'm gonna break down for you in this video best goal that you could achieve in your 30s and really the number one priority would be find a job that allows you to maximize your fest. Now fest stands for freedom, energy, space and time. Now you might even by the time you get into your 30s towards the end of your 30s like me you might even have a young family that you're looking after or you might be thinking about starting a family and certainly the moment that you have a job that you're passionate about then it allows you to also decide actually how much of your time do you want to dedicate to that job and really the maximizing that for you will be your greatest gift. How much actually do you need to live life but also give you the freedom and the time that you need to then live life the rest of the time. It's not all about working, it's also about having life in your side. So do you want opportunities to perhaps work part time? Can you actually find a career that allows you to do that and cover all your bills? Could you actually even earn more with a part time side hustle than you do right now? Really using your skills, using your energy to maximize that freedom, energy, space and time will be the greatest financial goal you can achieve in your 30s. And what that will do, it will set you up for the rest of the decades of your life on the best foot I feel. It will give you that freedom that so many people are craving for as they get in their 40s, 50s and 60s. For the everyday person, they're simply working to wait for retirement at 65. I don't want that for you and I don't want that for myself. I want you to have the freedom of life right now. That's all we have is right now. And so giving us the option to actually maximize, look at our job and say, what do I truly want? What hours do I want? How do I want life to look? That will be the greatest financial goal you can achieve. And bear in mind as well, money is not the goal here. It's not to gain as much money as you can. It's about the efficiency of your job. So does it pay for the lifestyle that you want right now and perhaps five, 10 years down the line? And remember the job that you have right now in your 20s or 30s does not need to be the job that you do the rest of your life. You can mix up as much as you want, perhaps even switch career, but make sure that is one of your main focuses in your 30s. A job, some way to bring in money, but gives you the freedom, energy, space and time that you'll be so thankful for as you get later in life. The second financial goal to achieve in your 30s is learning how to create a financial plan and dare I say it, following a budget. Now when you actually, for the first time, usually in your 20s, if not your 30s, create a budget for your money, it will change your life. They always say, if you don't have a vision of what you want in life, you will perish. You'll basically just meander whatever way that circumstance takes you. Sit down and even have one goal on your budget. So that means every single month when that paycheck comes in, Put one item of your goal, your dream list on your budget. Actually write an amount, even if it's five pounds, 10 pounds. And the whole point is you're getting used to actually having goals and then having an action plan. If you've come to my channel before, you'll see one of the main videos that pops up is how to create a financial plan, actually how to get out of debt, 
to wealth. And we use the example of how you can do that within five years, having about £15,000 worth of debt, building up then to wealth, investing and actually creating financial freedom. It's all about having those moments as you progress in life where you say, right, what do I actually want to use money for? Money is just a tool to design life on your terms. It is not the God, the goal figure at all. It's not about hoarding it. It's using it as a resource to give you the opportunities, the experiences that you can see yourself achieving. So make sure if you do anything within your 30s, have that budget with your life goals on it and that financial plan that allows you to achieve these goals that you want to in your life. The third financial goal that you should achieve in your 30s is every time you get paid, please pay your future self first. So obviously you might have found this channel because you're interested in investing in the stock market. And the whole point of investing is actually creating income in the future. You give a company a part of your money right now and you say, make that go to work. They either give you profit back in the form of a dividend, a little payment every month or quarter, or then you could also have the price that you bought your stock increase over time and eventually sell it. The whole point in your 30s is really to focus on the additional income sources that don't require you to actually work for it and that's where you have to make sure you have your pension sorted or at least a plan of what you want to put by every month you also think about investing for your future so every time you get your income in on that budget have your goals and also have a portion that you automatically send to investments and your future income for retirement it can be a small percentage maybe five ten percent but we know if you follow my channel for a while the percentage that you save for the future and use a vehicle that's going to really maximize that money so high levels of interest such as maybe five ten percent in the stock market if you consistently put away money in your future in those ways you will genuinely receive wealth in later life perhaps even 20 years down the line perhaps even 10 years down the line it could all really change the destiny for you because you've put aside money and you've then allowed it to grow as quickly as it can. The fourth financial goal to achieve in your 30s is please use it as an opportunity to get rid of any debt you have in your life. Now, traditionally, that might be student loans. Now, obviously, in the UK, our system is a little bit different from the US. It could be student loans, credit cards, consumer debt, anything that's high interest debt. You've maybe picked up as a result of your 20s, university, or just life, or just spending habits. Please use your 30s as that time to clear it and have it no more. The reason being, the only true equation that really matters in you building with in your life consistent income is when your outgoings are less than your incoming amount if you manage to clear everything as best as you can you want to even pay off your mortgage you're thinking about all your debts getting rid of them car loans we have none of that then you're allowing the amount of money that you need to earn to actually cover right now the roof over your head food in your belly and experiences that amount is much lower than when you're consistently having to pay out for car loans or mortgages or anything like that now i'm not saying in your 30s try and be mortgage free but even if you attempt to make as good a dent in that as you can you're off to a great start now remember if you are someone who's struggling with debt in your 30s you don't think you can get rid of it you're in that cycle of always minimum payments remember that that debt does not make you a bad person debt is just a thing it was just a choice in the past to pay for something long term borrow from someone else for a premium it doesn't mean you're a bad person and actually the best thing you can do for your life is saying I'm not going to debt anymore I'm not going to add to it and in fact I'm going to find ways to put extra money and get rid of it I'm going to free up that money back in my pocket again you're taking control of the situation rather than just being a victim of it and that is one goal in your 30s if you manage to achieve that get rid of all your debt focus on then your mortgage or buying a home you're really in great standing for the rest of your life now the next best goal you can achieve in your 30s is when you learn to stop giving up your time for money. Now when we enter the system from school or you go to university, the default normal society way of doing things is go and get a job nine to five, get a wage, put some money aside, and then you work to 65. The moment that you realize that there's actually other ways to do it to get money, it changes your life. And I would really say your 20s and 30s are the absolute best time to think of passive incomes. Now, passive means, as I said, not giving up your time for money. It means basically you send your money off or you use your skill set to create ways where money can come to you without you having to do anything. Basically money while you sleep effectively. So that could be perhaps that you want to write a book and you're going to sell it on Amazon. Well, then every time someone actually buys that book, 
You don't have to rewrite the book in the background. You then simply sell it, boom, passive income. You haven't had to do anything for it. And then a similar way investing does that. You then put some of your money in, that money then grows depending on the stock price or the fund price. And you could also get a dividend, a payout from that as a thank you. So there's very much different ways that you can have passive income. And particularly on this channel, I've got many videos covering that topic if you want some ideas about starting a business for passive income or even investing. So please go and check out my channel after this one. Now, the essentially having this goal of creating at least one passive income in your life when you're in your 30s allows you then to free up your time because you're allowing more income into your life and then you don't need to necessarily give up as much of your time to make that nine to five job. Those additional incomes then allow you to get that wealth, that growth even quicker and really change your life a lot faster. And really the best challenge that I've given myself in recent years since I've learned about passive incomes in my 30s is even trying to create one extra source every year. So whether that be I write a book, perhaps a course, perhaps I do something differently, I start TikTok, whatever it needs to be, try and think of different ways that you can bring passive incomes in particular into your life would be one of the greatest blessings in your 30s moving forward. The next one is a little bit of wisdom as I get towards the end of my 30s and that is please don't keep up with the Joneses in your 20s and 30s, it's simply not worth it. And what I mean by that is a lot of time the common mentality will be, you know, get the latest and greatest item that you need, spend lots of money and don't think about tomorrow. I like to think it's better to be one of the weird people. I think it's really good actually doing things differently and deciding what you want with your money and your lifestyle. Don't just go along with the normal life because somebody else thinks it's right for you. And I think in your 30s especially, and ultimately whether you have expensive things or cheaper things does not matter. The abundant life is your decision, whatever flavour that looks like. But do it, design it how you want. Don't just do it because somebody else has got that lifestyle. Do it exactly how you want it. Don't try and keep up with the Joneses. Usually the Joneses are far poorer, whereas we actually want to be wealthy and giving a lot more in life. And that leads me to my final financial goal that I really love to see a lot of people achieve in their 30s. And that is when you flip the script again and you start to make giving money away a priority in your life. If you've read a lot of the money books such as Think and Grow Rich, they talk about a guy called Andrew Carnegie, a very famous, very wealthy man in the 1900s in the US. Basically his philosophy was he was going to spend 50 years of his life making as much money as he could, 50 years getting rid of it all again. And really the moment that you start to realise that money is not something you need to hoard, you actually can do a lot of good with it and you should pass it on to others. You should help others benefit in some way. I then realised that when I gave money away every single month, part of our budget, maybe five, 10%, whatever it needs to be, even five pounds makes a difference to someone else. When I then embraced the concept of I have enough, plus I want to help somebody else, it really changed my life. And if anything, it's allowed me to see that the circle of money is all around us. It's allowed me to really equate that money is not scarce. Money is completely unlimited. It's only that your time that's a limited resource in your life. So the moment that you actually start to freely give generously, I think it makes you a better person in terms of what other people need, not only making it all about yourself, but then looking out and seeing what difference you can make in the world. And that's the best thing you could do with your money. You've dealt with all those other financial goals, not giving up your time for money, passive incomes, perhaps even getting out of debt. Now it's time to really use that to the best that you can, benefit the world as a whole and your own life. So thank you so much for watching today, really fun video and this is certainly my experience. I've come through my 30s, getting towards the end of it and this would be the best advice I could give to someone much younger than me or perhaps someone who's in that journey in their 30s right now. As with anything, have goals in your life with your money, don't just become a victim to it, create the circumstances that you absolutely want to achieve. It could be creating passive incomes, investing, giving to others. These are all really great habits for the rest of your life. And even if you use your 20s and 30s to develop them, those are incredible habits so you can make a difference in your life, your families and the wider community. So I'd really love today, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up help someone else find it in the algorithm. Please also hit subscribe, follow my channel. Love to have you as part of this journey. We also have a membership part of the channel if you hit the word join down below and basically they get monthly access in a Q&A session to me. They get to submit questions. We also have special content just for them. So if you fancy joining the channel and supporting me in that way, please do check it out. And as always, drop me a comment, which of these goals, if you're someone who's in your 20s and 30s, which of these goals are you going to really embrace the next short time ahead and make it your goal to achieve it? I'd love to know that in the comments. And please do have a little binge of my channel, nearly 300 videos, free content, 
for you to learn about personal finance, investing and success mindset. I want you to achieve great things with your money and I want to help you do that through these videos. So please do have a little watch and if you fancy, I've got some products, some courses you can go and check out as well to help you budget, invest, achieve financial freedom. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.